What up, what up, it's Dane and in this video I'm going to be telling you the top fitness myths and let's get into it. So, the myths that everyone is talking about all the time is this true, is this false and I want to bust these myths for you, right? So, I got my glasses on to sleep better no, I've got, I've got them on focus, so anyway the top myth, so for, myth number one and the one that pisses me off the most is eating every two to three hours, right? So, basically Running around with a big backpack, having six Tupperwares with you, with chicken, broccoli, and rice, with no sauces, but mainly just trying to eat every two hours to optimize protein synthesis, to get enough protein because your body can't absorb so much protein, and this way you're gonna get massive. You're gonna get like, like probably 400 pounds, right? Basically, this doesn't even matter. All at the end of the day, it's all about your calorie intake and your protein intake. That's the most important point. So eating two to three hours is really not. I've said this in so many videos, man. Meal timing is it, it doesn't even matter, man. If it did, any research hasn't even shown that it does matter. If it does, probably 0.1% or 0.01%. So all it's gonna do is stress you out and increase your cortisol level. So myth number two, let's get into that. Okay, so myth number two is eating healthy. Foods to lose weight, right? So you always got to eat healthy foods to lose weight, right? You always got to eat broccoli. That's always got to be in your diet, right? Broccoli, um, asparagus, because that makes your wee look so cool. Stuff like this, right? No. This doesn't matter at all. You don't need to eat healthy in order to lose weight. In fact, there are loads of people that are eating healthy to lose weight, and they're still overweight because they're eating shit like nuts that are calorie dense. Um, loads of pasta, loads of rice, uh, loads of sweet potatoes, loads of potatoes. All of these kind of foods that are still healthy, they're still from the ground, they're not processed, but they'll still gain weight because they still overeat, right? It's all about your calorie intake again. Calorie balance, if you're gonna lose weight, calorie deficit, if you're gonna gain weight, calorie surplus. That's the most important factor. So you don't need to eat healthy in order to lose weight. And at the end of the day, a calorie is a calorie. A calorie in a chocolate bar and a calorie in a piece of steak is the same thing. One protein in a steak and one protein in a chocolate bar is the exact same thing, right? One's probably healthier for internal side of things, one's not healthy for your internal side of things. Okay, myth number three, probably the most, now this is this is definitely the most annoying one. You have to eat straight after work. You have to catch the anabolic window. You have to, while you walk out the gym, while you walk through the turnstiles, while you say goodbye to your friends, you have to shake that protein shake up and then drink it before you exit the door or maybe at the last minute, just before your foot gets over the door. Right? This is the biggest lot of bullshit I see. And I work at a place right next to the gym, right? Right next to the gym, I can see people walk out of their protein shake. Sometimes I just wanna walk past them and slam that shit on the ground because the thought that everyone thinks you need to have a protein shake after workout is completely bullshit. There's no anabolic window. You could probably go like three, four hours without even eating, even longer, and it really doesn't matter. As long as you don't go like probably eight, nine hours without eating, then it'll probably matter a little bit, but there's like even five or six hours, you know, it doesn't really matter too much. And most people will eat in that kind of window anyway, so don't stress about eating straight after your workout. This is just a lot of bullshit once again. Okay, myth number four is training a muscle group once a week, man. And this shit, if you've been watching me on my channel, you already know what I'm gonna shit on, the bro split. Training a muscle group once a week is not optimal at all. Following your favorite pro bodybuilder is not optimal at all. Unless you're gonna take their pills, their steroids, all that kind of shit, and you're just enhancing them, they are follow that shit, but training one, one muscle group a week is not good for natural. Believe me, it really isn't. 80% of people get great gains for training each muscle group at least twice a week. Probably 2% in the whole world will get good gains with the bro split, right? So definitely, I'm not a big fan of the bro split and Nor's research. <laughs> okay, myth number six. This is probably one, of, I think it's number six or five. This is one of the most annoying ones. Once again, it's spot reducing fat. Dane, help me lose belly fat. I've got no arm fat, I've just got belly fat. Help me lose fat, help me lose fat on my arms. Help me lose face fat, right? All these stupid shit things. What my answer is, take a vacuum cleaner and suck that shit out. That's obviously not. You can't spot reduce fat, right? You have to lose fat everywhere. At the end of the day, it's a calorie deficit that's gonna help you lose fat everywhere. You can't just spot reduce fat in one place. In fact, that actually look quite funny because if I'm on a diet right now, I'll lose a lot of face fat and then say my legs will be chubby. Like, it'll, it'll look weird and shit like that. So, why would you wanna just lose fat in one place? But at the end of the day, it's a calorie deficit that's gonna help you lose the fat. Calorie's a calorie once again. 
you know what it is next myth okay so the last myth is doing lightweights to get toned right again and again and again people are always saying I don't want to get big you know I don't want to get too big uh, and then women will be like I don't want to get too muscly I don't want big arms listen I wish I could have this I don't know myth holy grail trouble that getting too big right as a natural you will not get too big I guarantee you even if you somehow do get too big you can always slow it down when you just about get there but you don't trust me it's so hard to gain muscle man it's such a slow process especially the first two years you're probably being oh I'm getting big I, I might get too big right and then it just all of a sudden slows down slows down the more and more you train so yeah the training age in fact so trust me you will not get too big as a natural it just doesn't happen and women will not get too bulky it will take years and loads of loads more testosterone to inject to get bigger so that shit doesn't help so that's the last myth but one thing i have to say as well just like a little bonus tip is that like i said earlier in the video man natural foods are no better than junk food in a way right but this is for a physical appearance point of view for aesthetics like i said a calorie at the end of the day is just a calorie it really is a lot of people i know i've just spoke to some people the other day they're like Oh, uh, I'm doing like eating real healthy six meals a day chicken broccoli and rice no sauces stuff like this and I was like that's cool man if that's what you want to do that's what you want to do if it works for you do it but then they said oh no sauces no that and I was just thinking like why a calorie is a calorie like that's that's why this thing is called if it fits your macros you can do this shit people compete on bodybuilding shows of if it fits your macros like I don't understand why people still think you need to eat chicken, broccoli, and rice six meals a day and stuff like this. It just blows my mind. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, subscribe down below. Let me know for, let me know what you thought of the video. I hope these myths got busted. At least one that you thought was true. Anyway, as always, stay positive, stay smiling, and I'll see you in the next one.